Und jetzt also, sind wir mal gestorben für euch. Ja, wie ihr seht, ist es keine gute Idee, jemanden anzugreifen. Richtig. Und ach ja, guten Morgen, Frau. Ach ja, die Frau ist wach. So, dann reden wir jetzt mal mit Edna. Oh, Steve, what are you doing? Sneaking up on me like that. God, for a second I thought you were Mr. Johnson. What would you like to order? Well, you're in Edna's diner. That ought to be your first clue. I thought this was DNA's diner. Very funny. If certain customers would stop pretending to have amnesia and order some food, maybe I could afford to get that sign fixed. Might even be able to buy enough extra letters to spell Fitzpatrick. I'm not pretending. Now, Steve, faking amnesia won't help Steve. anything. If you don't want to marry Stephanie, then don't. But don't play sick, for heaven's sake. I'd expect that from Karen, not an 18-year-old. Mm, Karen. You've met Karen, my eight-year-old. Other than the diner, she's all I have. Greetings. There isn't a nicer girl in Harvest than Stephanie, Steve. You should be grateful that she's promised you her hand. I don't remember that happening, Edna. Honestly, you men are so childish. I don't know what it is about marriage that turns even the bravest man into a coward. I was going to marry Karen's father when he just up and ran out on me one night. I heard that he joined the lodge. But if he did, I never saw him come out again. Even Sheriff Twain wasn't able to find out what happened to him. <laughs> Die Frau Mr. Johnson der has a, a liking for me. I call it a crush, but that's too innocent a word. He's a bitter man with too much time on his hands. He's never gotten over being rejected by the lodge. And there's something unwholesome in the way he looks at me. I'm always glad when the sheriff comes in every day at noon. Die Frau hat gerade der, der Edna sehr zugestimmt beim letzten ersten Satz. You may not so childish. Ach. Ach. Stop by any time, Steve. Ah, wen killen wir als nächstes? Ja. Wir müssen jetzt gleich sogar jemanden umbringen. Das machen wir gleich mal. Ohne, dass wir bestraft werden. Loser. Ohne, dass wir bestraft werden. Das war in der TV-Station. Da, wo auch die Serie gedreht wird, die mein äh, kleiner Bruder, Bruder anschaut. Bruder? Stay tuned, Buckaroos. There's more to come on Range Riders Cowboy Roundup. So don't go away. And what's your name, Hombre? Steve. Steve's a swell name. My dog's name is Steve. Would you like my autograph, Steve? Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. Here you go, then. Violence? What about it? Um... <laughs> what red-blooded American doesn't? Nothing like an exploding head to get the blood pumping. Literally, that is. Even so, do you think society pays a heavy price for the violence in the media? Of course they pay a heavy price. Just look at the net profits. They'll line up around the block to see a good slaughter. Now, excuse me, we're going back on the air. Shisha! So. Shisha! Und jetzt bringen wir gleich unsere erste Person um. Ähm, wer es nicht ganz mitbekommen hat, wir müssen nämlich... Ähm, deine Feuerwehrmann hat uns gesagt, wir müssen in den Safe rein. Von diesem Kerl hier. Von Mr. Na McKnight, der anscheinend irgendwas mit dem Brand zu tun hat. Können wir mal mit ihm reden, oder? Hey, wir reden was noch mit ihm. This is a private office. Yeah, I know, Mr. McKnight. I own and operate this station. Have you brought me some news for tonight's broadcast, or... I've lost my memory. That's news. The hell it is. You always were a kidder, Steve. Any real news to tell me? Actually, I was just wanting to know more about the TV station. Hey, WHAR is the only television station in Harvest. Since the old Sentinel went under, what with the newspaper building burning down and all, we're golden. Nobody competes with us, sport. Ha, ah, sehr verdächtig, huh? Yeah, what, what an, an odd, odd coincidence. coincidence. <laughs> hey now, sport, that's an irresponsible allegation. I had nothing to do with that fire. Just because WHAR may have benefited from it and I danced on the ashes a little doesn't mean I torched the place. You can ask Sheriff Dwayne. Give me doubts. You seem awfully touchy <laughs> on the subject, sport. I'm touchy when people try to muscle their way into my business. I'd appreciate it if you'd leave my office. 
Und don't come back. Okay, aber zuerst recht was zu tun. Haha. <lacht> Ermordet. <lacht> so. Sehr schön. Jawohl. Mit der Axt wäre es viel witziger. Da glaube ich, hätten wir uns den ganzen Kopf weggeschlagen. So, safe. Gut. Wir hätten mal diese Kombination, die wir jetzt bekommen haben. Safe manual, ja. 4, 23, 71, 58. Ich glaube, ich hoffe, wir können es direkt verwenden. Ach ja, und fragt jetzt, wundert euch nicht, warum der Typ jetzt so zerfetzt ist. <lacht> Stimmt, ja. <lacht> warum, warum? Das wäre höchstens passiert, wenn wir ihn vielleicht mit der Axt zerschlagen haben oder sowas. So, was ist da drin? Ein Penis. Ein Penis. Ein Verdammt. Ein Penis, aber... <lacht> Jawohl. Und die ist jetzt nämlich wichtig, weil jetzt können wir quasi beweisen, wenn ich mich recht entsinne. Ganz rechts, oder? Genau. Lance McKnight an Dwayne Dwayne. So. Damit könnten wir jetzt, das machen wir später auch, mal den Polizisten konfrontieren. Und wir bekommen dann was von ihm, was ziemlich praktisch ist sogar. Ein bisschen kleine Erpressung schadet da nicht, ne? Richtig. Oh, die Schule, oh, die wird klasse. Die ist so toll. Da gehen wir jetzt mal rein Geil, in die, die Schule. Die Frau da, die komische. Also den Quadranten machen wir noch fertig. Ich glaube, dann <lacht> lassen wir es für heute. Aber dann haben wir alles von Harvest abgegrast. Und dann können wir das nächste Mal mal richtig mit dem Rätseln anfangen. Aber dann habt ihr wenigstens mal alles gesehen in der Stadt. So, auf geht's in die Schule. Steve, good of you to drop by, big guy. Haven't seen you since graduation. A lot of changes, I hear. You could say that. Good, good. That's a nice part of my job. Turning fine young men and women out into the world, and then watching them prosper. Of course, I was able to reach more people at the old Sentinel, God bless her. But then again, I never got to see the results of my work up close before. Who are you? You know very well I'm Mr. Harold, the principal of Gain Memorial. Steve, I've heard about this amnesia nonsense. I had hopes you'd be in the lodge by now, fine young fellow like yourself. But now, I think maybe you need a little more quality time. <laughs> Mit dir oder was? Roar. What do you mean, quality time? Some, like Miss Whaley, favor stern discipline, corporal punishment as a means of socialization. Myself, I temper discipline with love. Quality time can be such a warm, sharing experience. After just a few sessions, you'd stop this amnesia nonsense and become a productive member of society and a fit candidate for the large. <laughs> Roar. Big guy, born some quality time, The greatest gift I can bestow upon you as your former principal is a word of advice. Join the order of the harvest moon at any cost. Within the lodge lies your future, and without dust. Surely mine is the most important position in harvest. The ability to mold young minds. That's power. You might think Sheriff Dwayne's the most important man here, big guy. But he only deals with my failures. When I do my job right, the Sheriff never sees a thing. Bisschen arrogant, der Kleine, no, oder? Kleines bisschen. Why do you keep calling me big guy? A sign of respect, lad. As principal, my station is higher than yours now. But you never know what the future holds, so you should always hedge your bets and pay tribute to your inferiors. You never know who will come to power, or who, even now, wields it behind the scenes. For all I know, you might already be a member of the Order, with access to the Lodge. If that were the case, you'd be my superior, and I'd be all that much better off having shown you respect, and spent some quality time with you. Quality time. With him, I would not have any quality time. Come in again soon. Adult education is a wonderful thing, as is adult quality time. Quality time. Ich verstehe nicht, was du hast. Ich finde den voll, 
Voll ist geil, handsome. Und, oh. mm. ah. Da regt sich was in deiner Hose. <lacht> so, und jetzt gehen wir mal in den Unterricht. Das wird Yay. spaßig. <lacht> Mit der Schaufel. <lacht> Ja, <lacht> yeah, the children look stunned and zombified. Warum wohl? My goodness, class, this is Steven. He used to be a student here at Gein Memorial. Say hello, class. They're reticent. The educator's greatest problem today is the apathy of the students. What's wrong with their heads? I can tell you in one word, Steven. Discipline. Thank goodness you weren't a sulky bear. You were always a smiley bear. Then... You remember me? Not as such. So many pupils, Stephen. They come and they go. But I can always spot those who were nice boys. You can tell from the forehead. The lobes. Right, class? I'm glad you stopped by, Stephen. Would you care to say a few words to the class about civic responsibility? Not really. I was just passing through. Oh, but you must, Stephen. A positive role model might be just the thing to inspire these little monsters. Steven, have you any questions for me? Or shall I continue with class? Ah, um, yes, I do. Ask away then. Um, call for a punishment. Then, um, wait a minute until the end, you know? Yeah. Can you tell me anything about Harvest? Harvest was founded by the Order of the Harvest Moon about a hundred years ago. For what purpose? Why, I'm sure you'd have to ask them. You'll find the members of the order at the lodge. Dies wenigstens schon immer die Antworten. This lodge. What do you know about it? The building itself, like Harvest, was constructed with a specific purpose in mind. That noble intent is known only to those within the order. You're at about the right age to join them, Stephen, and you will do so if you care about your future. So, corporal punishment. Jetzt wird's witzig. We don't practice corporal punishment here. I've never believed in that old adage, spare the rod and spoil the child. A rod is too thin. But a baseball bat? <laughs> that bridges the generation gap quite nicely. Oh dear, Colonel Monroe is conducting another air raid drill. Everyone into the hallway, quick! Vertrauenserweckende Lehrerin, ich weiß. Ich hätte auch gern so eine. If an A-Bomb hits, what good is it gonna do to duck and cover? <lacht> Und? Dann kann man froh sein, dass das noch so cartoony gemacht wird, ne? Psycho. Hey, das ist voll nice Psycho, Alter. Nice start, that was yes. exciting. <lacht> Stop by any time, Steven. Wer wünscht sich nicht so eine Lehrerin mit einem blutigen Baseballschläger? <lacht> Corporate Punishment. Bam. So, was haben wir hier? Ich glaube, da können wir nichts weiter machen. Die Sluggers are real fight, bla bla bla. Ah, ah, ich weiß schon, was da war. Gut. Da haben wir die Schule jetzt mal hinter uns. Äh. <lacht> 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 Wie der rumschleicht ah, mit der scheiß Schaufel. Da. So. Ähm, um, Meat Plant, das ist das, wo mein Vater gehört. Ja. Lecker, lecker. Ach ja. Ich weiß schon. Hm? Katzenfreunde wegklicken. <lacht> ah. ah. About the same, I guess. He's been away from work for weeks. And when I call your house, your mother won't let me talk to him. I haven't seen him either. This is a fine kettle of fish, I must say. Though I am glad to see you taking an interest in the business in your dad's absence. Who are you? Oh, Steve, I didn't want to believe that amnesia hokum. Now you're saying you don't remember your pal Pat O'Reilly? Uh, family business. Hey, <laughs> cats. Mm. You may come to realize that this business is not for everybody. Just ask your poor, ill dad. It takes dedication and a strong stomach. A lot of times, when I'm finished scrubbing up and digging the bits of intestine out from my fingernails, I must confess I don't have much appetite for red meat. But red meat is one of the principal food groups, and you've got to have it. So when you can do this all day and help yourself to a juicy red steak afterwards, then by golly, you can call yourself a butcher. Of course, amnesia would certainly help that, wouldn't it? Hmm. <laughs> That's Lunas. What exactly is wrong with your dad? I don't know. I wouldn't worry about it too much, Steve. 
You should be thinking about running the family business one day. That, getting into the lodge. Mm, come to think of it, I don't see any cattle around here. Where do you keep the animals? <laughs> Does it matter? The end product is all the customer cares about, Steve. And we only carry the finest meat, only the juiciest cuts. Once you take over the business, you'll realize the importance of maintaining quality while cutting costs. We know what we're doing here. If we didn't, would the lodge use us to cater their affairs? Um, yeah, bitte. Your father's very particular about the profit, Steve. No freebies for anyone. But seeing how you're his son, if you'll bring written permission from your father, I'll give you the meat. Um, we could auch mal kurz Cutting cats eingeben. Yep. What's with all the cats? This a slaughterhouse or a kennel? Oh, them? They eat the scraps, that's all. Yeah, but look at them. Isn't there some kind of health department that keeps tabs on these things? Are you going to work at the health department, Steve? Or here? Uh... Yeah? I'm not sure. That's good to know. Mm. Your father will be very happy. If he recovers. My point was only, you shouldn't allow animals in the food processing area, right? We don't let them get into the meat. That's unsanitary. And the health department wouldn't stand for it. There's things you don't know about the family business, but you'll learn. Das wundert mich, okay. schon? Da. Don't be such a stranger, Steve. And my best to your dad. Da, auf dem, auf dem, <laughs> auf dem Tisch liegt eine halb gesch eine geschlachtete Katze. Oh, wo kommen die ganzen Katzen her? Das used to be a kitty cat. Ja, und hier liegt auch noch so eine halb verwieste. Lecker, lecker, lecker. Gut. Katzenfleisch. Da müssen wir später auf jeden Fall auch nochmal rein. Wie überall. Jetzt speichere ich lieber, weil jetzt wird es nämlich interessant. Und dann kommt noch die Lodge und dann haben wir es für heute. Jausa. Jausa. Who goes there? Uh, they tell me my name is... Steve. All right. This is Section 21. Keep your distance, son. I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. That makes two of us. So you're the amnesiac, huh? Just another draft-dodging ploy the way I see it. But at least you're not an alien. You see their ships every now and then. Sometimes swell bags one in the woods. Who are you? Colonel Buster Monroe. Commander of the Harvest Nuclear Missile Installation. Keeping America safe from those who would dye our flag red, white, and pink. These are nuclear missiles? Goddamn right they are. Every one of them ready to rain death on the Ruskies. All I gotta do is hit the button and blammo! The price of vodka goes through the roof. Along with the vodka. Well, I suppose you have, you know... Safeguards against accidents? Safeguards? Don't be such a weak sister. There are no safeguards. This is the 50s. Then you have sole control of the, uh, missiles. That's right. Been in charge here since WW2, when I got my lower torso shot off in the war. Those panty wastes in Washington wanted to stick me behind a desk. To hell with that! They owed me. I left my legs in Dusseldorf. They owed me. Of course, they felt that after the trauma of having to crawl from Germany to England trailing my intestines behind me, I was too emotionally unstable to continue in the military. That's why they gave me this nice cushy job and put me in charge of the nuclear missiles. Ah, yeah, Dusseldorf, no? The button. Why are you asking about the button, son? I'm just a little nervous about it. I mean, suppose an accident happens. Don't get your panties in a bunch, mister. The button is perfectly safe. I keep it on my person all the time. No commie bastard is getting his mitts on this button. No siree, Bob. No one initiates a nuclear holocaust in Harvest except me. Kommi Bastard. Ähm. 
Ich glaube, wenn wir das starten, dann können wir sterben. Na, eventuell. Fangen wir mal erst das andere an. Ja. So, Harvest, Nuclear Holocaust. Son, when you've had your body shot in half, you know a thing or two about fear. You learn that when something actually happens, it's never as bad as you imagine it would be. Oh, sure, I can't write my name in the snow. I had to shell out a few simoleons for portable IV drips, colostomy bags, and so on. The pain is hardly what I'd call constant. I have my good days when I pass out completely. We're never asked to endure more than we're capable of handling, mister. Folks would die in a nuclear holocaust, but nobody would die who wasn't going to die anyway sooner or later. And the rest of us? Why, we'd take a little R&R &R at the old radiation bunker, climb out in two weeks, and go back to work, refreshed and ready to contribute as productive members of society again. Makes me wonder why I don't just push the button and take me a nice vacation. Can you give me any reason why I shouldn't? Oh oh, Ach, doch, Gott. das war's schon. Scheiße. Ähm. Um, ja. ja. You're right, soldier. I'm sorry. Sometimes the intense pain clouds my mind. The kookaburros start whispering to me about the pretty mangoes in the high trees. And I know they can see me. They see all of us. Can't you hear them? Chattering with the llamas behind our backs? They want our cornflakes, but they won't take the milk. Yeah, yeah, I think it's good. Let's go first. Remember, duck and cover. Make a speicher and yeah. Yeah, I'll make a speicher and talk to him again. I think we need to first. Hold. Who goes there? It's just me, Steve. What do you want? Did the llamas send you? Um. When we do the first one, we can easily get caught. We can also show it to the camera. I knew it. They won't leave me alone. Nein. <laughs> Them and the kookaburros. Nein! Nein! Wie ihr seht, selbst die falschen Antwortmöglich Antwortmöglichkeiten bringen uns den Tod. Tja. <lacht> Game over. Das war's. Ne, wir gehen jetzt noch in die Lodge. Und dann noch weil das ist auch das, was äh, wir eigentlich hätten von Anfang an mal machen sollen. Aber zuerst mal die Stadt anschauen, das war etwas wichtiger. Und da ist also unser Death Metaler. Only initiates may enter the hall of the order of the harvest moon. Did you say something? I did not speak, but my mind yours telepathy but how only those who seek enlightenment or want my attention do you hunger for true knowledge I hunger for a burger there are always obstacles to the path you must first fill out an application to be considered for initiation into the mysteries members of the order to many hidden truths. Such as? They know what the trees whisper to the wind to make it howl. They know what the worm knows as it squirms in a rotting leg. They know what you've forgotten. Um, yeah. Yep. When you find the path, truth will be revealed to you. When you possess the truth, You will know what you knew, and if anything remains forgotten, then it was never worth the knowing. Good. We must also have an application to fill out, ultimately. And here we will take a break. Exactly. All clear. As I said at the beginning, this is a bit of a dry part, but now we have at least everything from Harvest Moon seen and can focus on the next time on the quests and the adventure rats. Exactly. Vielleicht nicht für jedermann was, aber es wird auf jeden Fall noch krank. Oh, ich hab gesaved. Du hast gesaved. Gut, dann... Da dann sage ich mal Happy Hunting. Jawohl. Und einen fröhlichen Nicht-Weihnachtsfeiertag. Irgendwie sowas. Das ist recht, Tommy. Ist recht, alles wird gut. Ja, alles wird gut, okay. Mau, Mauz, Mauz. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Mauz. Hunting. Wiff, wiff.